Hey, what's up guys? It's Evie and welcome to Disney Surprise Toy Club. Today I have another awesome new Play-Doh set called Cupcake Tower Sweet Shop. Um, it looks like it comes with the Play-Doh Plus. I've never heard of that or, well, I've heard of it, but I've never used it. Um, but I guess it's supposed to be softer. Um, let me show you guys. That's what it says. Easier to squeeze. And then softer, smoother. And then that's all that's supposed to come inside. So let's get this thing open and get to making some cupcakes. Okay, so I already kind of pre-opened it so you guys wouldn't miss the action of me opening it. Well, I pre-cut it, I guess. Okay. So first things first, it came with instructions to be able to put the tower together. Um, it says it comes with five things of Play-Doh. Get these open. And it came in like a long line. So here's the two Play-Doh Pluses, green and yellow. Then it comes with three normal, brown, blue, and pink. So let's put the Tower of Play-Doh over um, on the ground. <laughs> then that's part of the tower, and I guess it looks like the tower has a lot of molds on it. Seashell, uh, elephant, a star, a teddy bear, a dinosaur, a heart, a pretzel, and a... Uh, I have no idea what that is. Looks like a dog. I'm gonna call it a dog. So it comes with a dog mold too. <laughs> and then it came with another thing of molds. A butterfly, a turtle, a strawberry, a candy pea, like a piece of candy. Came with another teddy bear, a giraffe, a gingerbread man, a fish, well, a fish, and then a um, butterfly, if I didn't say that already, I think I started with turtle, and I think this is what you push the Play-Doh out with, and this is a little plate for your cupcakes, this is more molds, I'm not going to go through these though, <laughs> um, what else? A plate, another plate, um, a pie spatula, let's just dump it all out here now because there's only a little bit left, is that it guys, ah oh, there's something else in there, okay got it out came with a knife, which will come in handy for more Play-Doh videos. Um, a cupcake mold thing right here. Um, this looks like it's part of something that I don't know what, they comes with three of them. So I'll have to read the instructions for this. Comes with a fork. I don't know what this is. And it comes with this, which I believe this and this connect to push the Play-Doh through here. It looks like a star. <laughs> okay, let me get this all set up for you guys. Um, but I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I finally got it all set up. And that is what the cupcake tower looks like all put together um and let's get started on making these cupcakes I think I'm going to make a just a normal colored chocolate vanilla cupcake I'm gonna use this tan color right here 
and take some so new oh gosh I think it's supposed to be like a chocolate maybe it's supposed to be vanilla I don't know but I'm gonna smush it make it all soft take some and put it in this little mold here So you have to set it on the table, I've realized, because it has a hole at the bottom. I'm not exactly sure why it has a hole at the bottom of it, but it does. So make sure to put it on the table flat before you do this. And I don't know if I'm... I think I need more Play-Doh. I think that's what is my issue here. Is that what you're supposed to do? Maybe? <laughs> and I think actually now that I'm looking at it, or playing with it, it's supposed to kind of push it out. So, it came in handy. Um, now that we got this part done, I'm gonna try to make something that goes around the cupcake, the cupcake liner. So I'm gonna make a blue cupcake liner, or at least try to. Um, I don't know how good this is gonna come out. But I'm gonna make, squish it into a, kind of like a pancake. And once it's like a pancake, a really, really flat pancake, you want to push it down. Kind of push it against the sides. Okay guys, so I got this out and done with. Um, kind of turned out weird, but I'm going to try to put our cupcake in it. Hopefully it fits. I don't think it's really going to fit on there. And hopefully that turned out better than our last attempt. So let's push it out. And that turned out significantly better looking than our other ones. Wow. Okay, so I'm gonna get this in our little cupcake or a cupcake frosting station and see how that does. So we got our little um, cupcake in the little cupcake frosting station. It's on a spinning tray and I'm gonna do um, a green and yellow frosting on this one. I'm gonna mix my play-doh but it's okay. I'm doing it for you guys. <laughs> um, and what you do is when you get it done, you put it in this little thing in here. And then you take 
the green thing <laughs> and push the play-doh down on top of the cupcake and thus you have frosting so let's kind of just push this back on here down or back there and kind of just work with these two play-dohs I'm excited to see what these are all about yeah, it has a little tab on it and I still have a hard time okay so this is what it looks like right there that's the yellow. I'm gonna get the green open for you guys here. I always have a hard time opening these Play-Dohs. And then that's the green one. They're pretty bright actually. They're very soft. Wow. But what I'm gonna do is take a little piece like so and then little piece of the green, like so. Kind of like the same size, maybe a little less yellow, actually. Maybe a little less green, actually. Because I know these are going to kind of come together. But what you're going to do is kind of roll it into a snake. like that and then <laughs> these are actually really hard to roll into snakes but, and then you take the yellow one and roll it into a snake too they're not the perfect snakes ever <laughs> but then you kind of twist them that's what I'm gonna do at least I'm gonna twist them and see what kind of frosting comes out Okay, so now we're ready to push the Play-Doh down and onto our cupcake. Um, I'm going to have to show you the cupcake instead of the me pushing down. So you won't be able to see me do this, but you'll see the um, frosting go on the cupcake. So that's how it came out. Um, I'm gonna fix it up a little bit and see how it looks after it's fixed up. Okay, so that's it fixed up, I guess. Um, I know it isn't like the best looking. <laughs> it's my first cupcake. But I am actually gonna make a couple more cupcakes, one of each flavor, and see how those turn out with the frosting. I will be right back. Okay guys, so I made my two cupcakes. I made one a blueberry flavored and one strawberry flavored. Um, what I did with these ones is I just made the bottom separately. Um, I put Play-Doh in this part and then separate and then I put Play-Doh in this part separate. So that's why they're not like connected. But I figured that actually looks better than with it connected like that. So I'm going to try to put um, some frosting on them and see how these turn out. Push it down. I'm kind of guiding it with my fingers so it can turn out good looking. Okay guys, so this is it cleaned up. It looks significantly better than our other one. Um, so it's a blueberry cupcake with lime frosting. 
instead of the green, I'm doing the yellow now. So we have a green, yellow, a green, and a yellow. Um, so for the strawberry one, I'm thinking a strawberry banana cupcake. Doesn't that get, sound good, guys? And there you guys have it, our strawberry banana cupcake right there. Doesn't it look tasty? I'm going to put these back and see how these molds work real quick for you guys. And then we can have a feast of cupcakes. Okay guys, I want to show you these molds real quick. So I'm going to start with this pretzel right here. Um... And all you do is kind of just do that and press down on it and it creates a pretzel. Do you guys see that? Right there. And then you just tear it off. Here's our cool little pretzel right there. What you can do is just put it as like a little decoration on your uh, cupcake. I'm gonna do another one. Okay, and then I'm gonna then do um, a gummy bear or a, a teddy bear right here. And I'm gonna do it, make it pink. It turned out really cute. Okay, so and then you tear around it as carefully as possible and there's our little teddy bear so again you, I'm gonna put him or her I guess on my blue so and then one last one for my other cupcake and I'll do a seashell right here. I like all the options it gives you to be able to put on your cupcakes. And you kind of just go push it, push it, push it down. Okay. I don't know why I was singing. I'm gonna put it right there on our pink cupcake. And then you come on, cut. <laughs> Oops, that's how the inside of it look. Oh no! And you eat it. Um, yum, 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 yum. It was very tasty. Very, very tasty. Well, thank you so much for watching, guys. I think that'll do it for this video. Um, please give this video a like or, the, or comment and tell us what you guys want us to do. Um, and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.